Welcome back to another review and today I want to take a look at the Echo Show 5. So I had the Echo Spot before and then I switched to the Echo Show, even though I like the Echo Spot a lot because it looked so retro with that awesome round screen. And, and speaking of screen, you're wondering why would I have that? And especially watching movies on there where the screen is so small and it's round and you can zoom in, it's kind of cut off and blah, blah, blah. But that's not why I was using it. It wasn't just to watch movies because it was kind of useless. It was mainly to listen to movies. Now I used it for Alexa stuff, flash briefings for news and all kinds of things. I have this here, I'm, I'm in my review closet over there as I review. It's over there technically. So so as I do things in the office, as I do some editing or something else, I listen to the music or movies or ask about things. But at the end, I thought, why not this one? Because the screen is a bit bigger. The sound is a bit better. Everything's just a bit better and it's not that much more expensive. That being said, you're probably wondering, how does this relate to animation? To be honest, not that much. The thing is, with the previous one, because the screen was surround, you can't really watch anything on it. So to bring this back to animation, with this, you can technically watch it on the screen. Again, why would you? It's not like I'm going to sit down and watch a movie on this. But I wanted to show this because I love listening to movies, especially movies, obviously, that I haven't seen before. Stuff that I haven't seen, TV shows or whatever. I watch it on my projector and I, you know, I want to listen and analyze and all that good stuff. But as I animate my personal stuff at home or even work from home, because we can do remote login and working. So as I work on Star Wars right now, I can work from home. And since no one is around, I can bring up the music. Again, there's better quality around. This just comes in when I can just say Alexa play a lot of times it's demolition man don't judge me and then I can just listen to that or Ghostbusters or Indiana Jones or Star Wars or whatever and it gets me in a specific mood and helps me sometimes to animate to be in a specific mood or just kind of if you do some polished stuff or something that's kind of just going through a list and cleaning things up it's kind of boring and I want something to listen to so it's not that boring and this is why I'm showing you this again this is extremely subjective and I don't know if this is something for you but maybe it is maybe you are kind of like me and you like listening to TV shows or movies or music and all that helps. And I use this when I'm cleaning in the office or anything that I do in the office and I just want to listen to something in the background because I'm clearly easily bored. Then I use the Echo Spot and now I'm going to use the Echo Show. So this is brand new, unopened. I'll show you what's in there just in case you're interested in this. All right, so you got this here. It's a plastic strip I already took out, which when you open it up, oh, look at my face. You have that in here. Let's take this out. You got that and you got instructions. What is all this here? You got Echo Show, paper stuff gone. And the box otherwise is empty, out. All right, you got your power source. Make sure you take the plastic wrapping off in case this gets hot, you don't want this to melt. Trash, oh, I was gonna say, there's, there's probably like a zippy on there. All right, fairly long cable, plug this in. And then here is the actual thing. Of course, more wrapping. Let's take this out. Trash. And here it is. Very shiny. You will see all kinds of reflections in there. It has an interesting texture on the back. Fabric. Here you have, if you have a base, you can put the base on there and it clicks on there. Same thing with the Echo Spot. So you can kind of swivel it up and down. So it's, oh, you can see nice reflection on my camera. All fairly simple. You have a camera opening and closing function here. You got your on off, forget volume and mute. That seems to be it. On the back, you have your audio connections and USB and your power source. Let's plug it in. It's gonna load for a little bit. Got your logo and my reflected iPhone in there. As it has to boot and I got to put in all my settings, let's do a... A welcome sound. I'm gonna set this up, it's gonna take a little bit, so I'm gonna do fast forward. Boop. That's right, through all the boring bits. As I'm waiting though, it's a very clear screen. Welcome to Jean-Denis Haas. This Echo Show 5 is registered to me. If that's you, tap yes and so on. You got the instructions here and we'll say yes, that is me. Camera off. 
You got a little display here. As you do this, it's also displayed on there. I'm gonna turn this off. I am in North America. Yes, I'm gonna continue. Dining room, bedroom, lounge, study, hall, sitting room, basement, garden, upstairs, custom. Study, it's in my study. All right, very boring name. Device updates available, of course. Nowadays, the moment you buy something. Updating this device. It's updating, it's telling me. But anyway, I was going to say before Alexa interrupted me rudely. Those bing sounds are almost like in, the, in an airplane. You can take your seatbelt off now. 51% complete. As this updates, one thing that the Echo Spot back in the day didn't do is you can't really upload your own things onto Amazon, maybe like an Amazon locker, like a video locker type of thing where you can just upload your own stuff. So if you have any specific animation clips or something that you always kind of want to watch and listen and anything custom so far hasn't been there. At the same time, it's been a while because I, I sold my Echo Spot and I bought this and it's actually been sitting here um, because I wanted to unbox it and then use it for the review. So maybe by now things have changed, we shall see. 95%, almost there. 98, 99, 100%. This could take up to 10 minutes or more. Downloading system updates, 100% complete. Lies, lies. You can't just sit on 100% for a couple minutes. It's not complete. As I install the updates, this device will restart twice. Twice. I'm back. Let's continue. Holy moly, I made the mistake of holding this. I thought it's gonna be faster for a kind of a time-lapse type of thing. Oh, oh, tired. I'm clearly a very sensitive animator. Introducing this, this brief video will highlight. Hi. We're glad you're here. It's time to get you and your Echo Show 5 off and running. Here are three things to try first. Number one, use your voice. You could say something like, Alexa, play happy music. Okay, here's a station you might like. 80s pop on Amazon Music. Number two, try using the touch screen. Number three, choose your perfect clock face. To get started, say, Alexa, customize my clock. This is just the beginning of things you can do with your Echo Show 5. For more things to try, just ask, Alexa, what can I say? Welcome to your new Echo Show 5. Why, thank you. The touchscreen is pretty responsive. This device is ready. Is it though? All right, that seems to be the default screen. Let's see if it just updated and it knows me and it is logged in. Like, how would it know? Let's try it. Alexa, play the movie Demolition Man. Here's Demolition Man. <laughs> I don't know I'm running this place. <laughs> so I listened to this movie a lot, so I just picked up where it left off. So before that, you had a very minimal menu. Here I can swipe to the right and have this. Swipe down and you got your basic brightness. Let's change it a little bit. Do not disturb and other settings. Yes. This is my network name. You can change all kinds of things. This is pretty much the same. This time though, because it's a different and bigger screen, more options than I had before, and it goes probably into your Amazon library, okay? So the thing now with Amazon and iTunes and all the other ones, they're all combined. So you, my iTunes library shows up on Amazon. So these are actually the ones that I got yesterday, five bucks, what we watched last time. So this is kind of a interesting mix there. Let's try it again. Alexa, play the movie How to Train Your Dragon. There are multiple videos that match your request. Here's what I found. That is true. Alexa, play this. Here's how to train your dragon, the hidden world. Turn on the volume here. But you can say, Alexa, volume 10. Not bad. Alexa, mute. It does work. And I'm muting this mainly because I don't want to get a copyright strike and all kinds of stuff. But you can have this, you can scroll forward. You can see that loads pretty fast, not too shabby. Screen is cool though, nice and bright. As a whole, I think this is obviously much cooler than the round screen in terms of watching things. Because every now and then I put something on, just kind of listen to it and I work and I go, oh, and then I end up watching it because I'm an idiot. I could just watch it on the big screen, but I'm easily distracted, clearly. Alexa, home. 
and here we are. I'm gonna customize this a bit more. When you mute, you got that red line there. It's not listening, Alexa. You're not listening, you're not listening, Alexa. It's very rude. I turn her off. So you have camera off, you have sound off, and you will see this is a physical color. This is the screen, this lights up. So I'm gonna set up all my flash briefings. Hopefully it should technically all load. Maybe try it. Alexa, update. Team Dennis. Here's what's new. I'm not Gene Dennis. Alexa. On this day in Disney history, on September 28th, in 1982, annual passports are officially introduced at Walt Disney World to provide yearly access to guests who find themselves visiting the resort multiple Alexa, times next. from the Walt Daily. Hi, everyone. If you're a vintage Epcot lover, you probably have a place still left in your heart for the universe of energy. <laughs> This opening day pavilion was in Future World East. Alexa, next. And Good quality on that one, the sound. From this day in Star Wars history, on September 28th, 2010, Jedi Path. But I can't play all kinds of stuff because copyright strikes, cease and desist, shut down, all kinds of things. But as a whole, so far so good. Size is okay. Really depends on what you're listening to. That one flash one about Disney, the quality was actually very cool. But again, this is not to me a home theater thing where I'm going to put this on the table and watch it like that. I mean, my phone is same screen as this. Fast forward to June 2020, I've been living with the Echo 5 through the quarantine lockdown for, you know, as we all have been a couple months now, and I've been using it a lot more because I'm constantly in my office here. And it's the same opinion, I think it's still really cool. The screen is neat, again, it's not my home theater setup, but I come in, I work, and I put on music, and I mostly listen to either TV shows or movies, and for that it's just really, really cool. I just like working with a certain mood and extra sound and music and sound effects I just like that. So for that, it's really, really cool. And if you check online, it's $69.99 on Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the description in case you want to check it out. There have been no technical hiccups or anything with hardware. I'm going to move it around. It's right now right there. Sometimes I put it downstairs in the gym or something or, or in the living room and my little one can play around and he, he likes to ask her all kinds of silly questions. So it's fairly sturdy and works all the time. As mentioned before, my Amazon and, and iTunes library are combined for most of the movies and music that I have. So it's been fairly useful. Speaking of useful, I hope that... <laughs> I hope that this was useful. I'm not sure how I can plug my workshop with the Echo Show 5, but just in case I have workshops, if you're more into animation than a tech review. But either way, if you're still watching this, thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. And that's it from me, and I will see you hopefully in my next upload.